Hey guys, today's video will be different as I will not be sharing any recipes yet but for now, I will be unboxing this parcel I just received from the company VC. So the company sent me this Kosori Smart Air Fry to try and I'm so excited because this is actually larger than the Philips already had plus it has smart features that can be controlled through the phone app and has a wide touchscreen display too. Guys, just by looking at the box gets me really excited seeing the cool features listed in here. And look at these 11 presets. Well, I'll go through these presets and other features in detail later in this video. And also tutorials on how to use this smart air fryer using the phone app. And so let's now begin to unbox this. So what's included in the box is this envelope containing the user manual. Included also is a guide on how to install the app on your phone, a warranty card, and most importantly what I'm excited about is this 100 recipe cookbook. Look at these recipes. And additionally, just so you know, they have more recipes from the Vsync phone app too. Can't wait to try these recipes and share it with you guys. So why I'm so into air fryer guys is because you can cook those traditionally fried foods with less oil or no oil at all. And also the convenience of just waiting until your food is cooked is undeniable right? Whilst you can multitask and do anything while your air fryer is doing its job. So, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Vsync for sending me this beautiful looking machine to replace my smaller Philips air fryer. Now, let's remove all the plastics and stickers before we start cooking. The basket has a capacity of 5.8 quarts that can fit 5 pounds or 2 kilograms of whole chicken, which can feed up to 3 to 5 people. It is a button guard to protect it from releasing the inner basket accidentally. You just need to slide it forward, then press the release button to remove the inner basket. Then let's remove this, and then let's attach it back. The basket also guys is completely non-stick and dishwasher safe. As you can see, this air fryer has a wide LED touchscreen. So let's remove the stickers. Then I turn the unit upside down to show you the heating element of the machine. Once you plug the air fryer, you will see this Wi-Fi icon which indicates that it is ready to be connected in the Vsync phone app. I will walk you through the app later in this video but let's turn on the air fryer first and see the features. And here on you can easily choose from the 11 presets for the meat, chicken, fish, shrimp, bacon, uh, frozen if you only want to defrost foods, then french fries, vegetables, root vegetables, and also my favorite, bread and desserts. And then additional presets are preheat and keep warm functions. By the way, if you wanted to switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you can do that by pressing and holding the temp time button and the units will change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Although this comes with 11 presets, I want you to keep in mind that these are just guides and you still need to consider the thickness of your meat and the amount of food you're putting in the basket. So good thing this air fryer, even after choosing the preset, you can still adjust the timer and temperature manually. And now let's set up the Vsync phone app on your phone. Start by installing the app, then open it and sign up to make an account. Then verify your email. Once you've successfully signed in, add which device you have. Let's press kitchen and select Kosori Smart Air Fryer. And then you need to turn on some local settings in your phone to use this app. Then let's confirm the model we're using, the CS158-AF. And this will now be the time where you plug the device and you will see in the LCD screen that the Wi-Fi icon will start blinking. 
then press next and we will now connect the phone's Wi-Fi setting to the Wi-Fi network of Kosori. Then there will be notification if it's successfully connected. After that, connect to your own Wi-Fi network again. Once completed, assign it to a room. Let's uh, assign it to kitchen. And you're done! Once your phone is set up, and you're ready to go. And now let's try to cook some fries on this new air fryer and let's use the app. As you can see, there are lots of recipes in this app, which is amazing. You can choose from appetizers, breakfast, entrees, sides, and desserts. There are also additional tabs here at the top wherein you can bookmark the recipes to your favorites. Or you can also create your own recipes and add all the info on this template. And also, you'll be able to go back to your previous settings through this history tab. So let's now start cooking and let's try to use this homemade, homemade french fries recipe setting. It's really nice because the recipe also have videos in it that you can watch. And here's the list of ingredients. And also the directions here. So let's press cook this dish and we will be able to go to the settings where we can adjust the temp and time. And at the same time, we can also set the preheat. Then press cook now. And then once you press the button, it will automatically turn on the air fryer. But then the app will not be able to really start cooking until you press the actual start button on the air fryer. Once the preheat is done, you will be notified on your phone. And then let's now place the fries in the basket. Let's spread the fries. Place it back in. And here on, you can now press the play button on the phone and it will start cooking. Additional feature of this air fryer, as you can see in this table I've shown you, specifically in the last column, is that there are certain presets that will have a shake reminder. This is to ensure even cooking of your food. The presets that have this additional feature are the shrimp, frozen foods, french fries, vegetables, and root vegetables. However, I actually think you can use this feature with any kind of foods um, whenever you wanted it to be shaken or flipped halfway. So I think I'm gonna be using this feature quite often. The shake reminder will usually be on halfway or middle on the time you have set. And it will be 5 times and the shake will blink in the display of the air fryer and also notify you on the phone. So convenient, isn't it? So let's now shake the basket. And another great thing about this air fryer guys is that it has a safety feature in which once you pull out the basket, the air fryer will pause cooking automatically. And when you return the basket, it will automatically resume cooking based on your previous setting. As you can see here, we, have, we still have 7 minutes remaining. Then after it is cooked, it will again notify you on the phone. Then let's get the basket. Look at how this fries turned out guys. It's evenly cooked and crispy. I really think guys this is one of the best air fryers you can get out there. And this is actually more cheaper than my Philips air fryer but have much more features. It's so convenient, have 11 presets, the control panels are extremely easy to use and can be controlled using the phone app and has lots of safety features compared to other air fryers I know. So Kosari is definitely for anyone who is a rookie in cooking and can definitely be used by kids too. So if you want to have this air fryer, I have a link in the description box where you can purchase this beautiful machine. And great news, you can use coupon code LD15 to get 15% discount upon purchase. 
So thank you so much and stay tuned for my recipes using this air fryer. And don't forget to press that red button so that you'll be updated on my next video. Bye!